Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News and I have the pleasure to be joined by, well, Captain of Queensbury, Hamza Shiraz. Hamza, buzzing for, buzzing for June the 1st, mate? Yeah, buzzing, man. But buzzing is, is an understatement, you know what I mean? Especially being part of such a great, great event. Um, I mean, it speaks for itself, do you know what I mean? It speaks for itself and the fight speaks for itself as well and hopefully uh, Queensbury will come out with a clean slate. Definitely, mate. I mean, you're, you're captain in a fight against uh, Ammo Williams, obviously it's double bubble on the points. I mean, excited for, for the fight with Ammo Williams, who is a good contender as well. Yeah, no, very good contender. Sharp, fast, strong, knocks people out. Young, fresh, hungry. Um, and so am I. It makes it all, like I said, makes all the ingredients to expect fireworks. Expect fireworks, to say the least. Um, but I've got too much to lose. I've got way too much to lose. The people who have made sacrifices for me, uh, Ricky and Halley, this camp, They've come over from America, Los Angeles, doing our camp based up in Preston, this camp. Um, so yeah, listen, they're spending 10 weeks, 12 weeks away from their family, so it'd be, it'd be disrespectful not to, get, not to get the win. Definitely, mate, as well. One thing I was saying to Ricky earlier, you've been very, very active as well. Obviously, despite that, that minor injury setback, you still went in there and done the business against Liam Williams as well. Do you think that activity will give you the edge in this fight? Of course, of course, it always listen. If you look at all the great coaches uh, who have been in boxing, they always say activity is key. Activity is key to build that momentum, to build that ring sharpness, because there's nothing like, like fight night. I mean, you can spar all the rounds you want in the world, but when you go, get on there and put them 10-ounce gloves on and take the head guard off, the punches hurt and it's different. The punches are a lot faster, a lot sharper. Um, so, yeah, activity will definitely, definitely play a big part, but um, I'm not banking on it. No, definitely as well and I do have to touch on this as well we spoke about this before of how much of a proud Muslim man you are as well proud Muslim man now you're fighting in Riyadh Saudi Arabia as mate I mean sum that up for me yeah no it's unreal it's unreal listen I was looking it up and I was like boxing takes uh, Hollywood but in my case Bollywood do you know what I mean uh, it's good I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it like I said the, the opportunity to fight in a, in a Muslim country as well is just an honour in itself so I'm soaking it all up and hopefully I do everyone proud Definitely, and I'm sure you will, mate. I was speaking to Mauricio Silliman as well, but uh, before the press conference as well, obviously you have that WBC silver title. He said it's very likely with a win that you could fight for a world title shot. I mean, if, you, if the win wasn't big enough, obviously fighting for that for that full strap is also big as well, mate. Yeah, no, of course, it's massive. Listen, a like, fight, fight like this, I, I, any fight after this fight, as long as I get the win, is, I think is almost guaranteed a world title shot. So I'm not looking forward, not looking past this fight now. I've got, to, got a job to do on June the 1st, and and um, that's all that matters for now. Definitely Hamza and my, one of my final ones as well. Are you going to go on Ricky's podcast as well, sir? Uh, if he invites me on, if he invites me on. Um, How have you not got the invite? I think it would be a bit, a bit, a bit difficult to chat to your, your coach on, 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 on a more kind of formal environment where he's seen me being informal, he's seen me on weight cuts, drain, you name it and whatnot. So I don't know if I'll be on it, but maybe we might get this, this man, Taz. Maybe we'll get him on it. <laughs> As long as I get to interview Taz first, it's yeah. all right. Hamza, that was my final one, mate. I mean, any final words ahead of ahead of a massive, massive fight for yourself on June the 1st? Uh, just listen, everyone tune in. Everyone tune in um, and just watch uh, Queensbury and the Frank Warren team take the victory. Cheers, Hamza. I'm someone who's uh, followed you from the start to the beginning. Pleasure, Cheers. Thank you.